sin because the deeds that you have done in this body after you have come to the knowledge of Christ whether they be good or evil you yeah. shall have a reward for it Amen. come on somebody Amen. come on Amen. 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 For the Bible said they remain it no more. Forgiveness. Forgiveness of what? Willing sin. Willing sin. What is a willing sin? Anybody? Willing sin. To continue. Yes, do it. It means you have already planned to do, it. to do it. You already know that you're going to do it. You already know him and that, that the sinner is already conceived. It's already bearing fruit. You are aware of what you are doing and you are aware of what you're going to do. Amen. Amen, somebody. No, but it does not mean that you are not saved. But it means that you are in sin. And if you are in sin, it means you're going to be penalty for sin. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. And if you continue to disobey God's laws, the Bible said that the Spirit of God would not always strive with men. The Spirit of God can depart from you. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So God will give his person time to come out of their sins. Amen. You can be back sitting for 10 years. It doesn't mean that God has forsaken you. Amen. You have forsaken God. The Bible says God is married to the backslider. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. But there's a time that will come that he can cut you off. Amen. And give you up. To what? So by the blood of Jesus, you are saved from the wrath of God that is to come. In the book of Romans chapter 1, the Bible says, Woe to them who hold the truth in unrighteousness, for the wrath of God shall be revealed from where? Heaven. The Bible says it's going to come from heaven. Amen. The wrath of God is going to be revealed from where? Heaven. heaven. So God is a God of love, yes. But that's only one area of the gospel. We can't just come and preach love, 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 and people living in sin, 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 sin. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We got to preach the, what is the penalties of sin. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We cannot preach one save or we're saved. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Anybody else? The, the blood of Jesus has brought us back from the hands of the enemy. Jesus has purchased us. Chapter and verse. Book. <laughs> Is that key that you have in faith? Amen. Amen, somebody. The blood of Jesus has done what? Brought us back. Brought us back. Amen, somebody. By the time they get in that chapter and verse from me, amen, somebody. Then could I want everyone studying? The Bible says we are his prized possession. Amen, somebody. We are his prized possession, whom he has purchased with his very own one. Blood. That is the book of Ephesians. Amen. We have been purchased with the blood of the Lamb. Amen. We have been purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. 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 The Bible said, no, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that cannot be seen. And amen, somebody. And the Bible said, it is evident that the just must live by faith. Amen. Amen. It is evident that the just must live by faith. Amen. 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 And if we don't understand that we have been purchased, we have been bought back Amen. by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Satan can do what he wants with our lives. You gotta understand that your body is not yours anymore. Amen. Amen. Your life is no longer your life. It belongs to the Lord. Your temple belongs to the Lord. Your body belongs to the Lord. Amen. You got. 
You have one, go ahead. Leviticus 17 verse 14. Yes, you can, everybody can tell me to Leviticus 17 verses 14. And go ahead and read it. For the, for the life of every creator is its blood. Go ahead, read the it blood again. is its life. One more time, read really, it. For the love. For the life of every creator is its blood. Its blood is is its life. So what what law is that? Come on, somebody. What law is that? The life is in the blood. The, that's the law of the blood, right? The law of the blood. And the law of the blood dictates that the life of man is in the blood. Amen? Leviticus what? 17 verse 4. And read it again. For the life of every creator is its blood. Its blood is its life. Is its life. The blood is its life. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And then it have um, Zechariah 9 11. Yes. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I have set your prisoner free from waterless pit. It's a bottomless pit. It's waterless. Zechariah 1. 9 verses 11. Zechariah chapter 9 verses 11. Let's find that tonight. That's after Haggai. Zechariah chapter 9 verses 11. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein there is no water. So you get a, a different translation. Right? So when any your first Bible get the King James version, the original King James version. Amen, somebody. It's all right to have different translations. What we mean different translations? They have revised the scrolls, the original scrolls, and brought new translators to bring it more, amen, somebody, amen. more clearer unto you. So they say, amen, somebody. Amen. Take a dog and die, amen, somebody. Amen. amen. And uh, way, amen, about a hundred years ago, there was not certain English words amen. for certain Hebrew and Greek words. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. And even through that, we have many cults coming up right now. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. With certain types of spirits manifesting. Amen. Using that as an excuse not to obey the truth of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. For instance, we have in our nation right now and that. And uh, this is not new, this, this has been happening for over, amen, 30 to 40 years, amen, somebody, amen, amen somebody, and it has been all through America, amen, somebody, amen. and it is now attacking our nation, amen, somebody, yes, yes. and they are called uh, the black Jews, amen, amen. but the Bible, the Holy Scripture says, with God there is no male, there is no female, there is no gender, there is no bond, there is no free. Amen. You can be black, white, Chinese, brown, red. God is God over all. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. God is the creator of all flesh. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And uh, this teaching originated. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. From the black Muslim faith. Amen. Come on, somebody. And, amen, and the black Jews were originally black Muslims. Amen. But they don't do history to know. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. So they believe the white man is of the devil. 
<laughs> amen. And that as that uh, uh, amen, that scientists created the white man. Amen. 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 Took a, a brown jewel from a black man <laughs> to make a white man. That is a teaching. Are you understanding? Amen. Now, uh, uh, they believe in, uh, amen, somebody. The black Jews believe in Yeshua Yamashima, which is the Hebrew term for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Which they claim over 2,000 years ago that it did not have J in the Hebrew language. Amen. But I have some news to them over 2,000 years ago, the English language did not exist. Amen. So then how are you preaching and reading? What are you reading this for? Amen. So if a J didn't exist over 2,000 years ago, amen somebody, in the Hebrew language, English didn't exist 2,000 years ago. What they had 2,000 years ago was the language of the Syrians and Sanskrit, amen somebody, and Greeks and Hebrews and Latin, amen somebody. English did not exist. The English language did not exist. So they choose what they, what they want to take out of the Holy Scripture. You see, God planned us greater than us. God knew what existed then and He knew what will exist now. And He knew how to keep His word to bring it now. Amen. So you just cannot say, well, the J didn't exist. So I, I, I don't say any letter in the, in the Holy Scripture that we read in the English Bible that has a J in it and has an I in it and has a, a O in it. Ain't that somebody that did not exist then we show it out of the Bible? Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 But God, man, understanding is greater than us. God knew what will be today. Amen, somebody. And he established a name forever in the heavens. So he knew what language that will exist today and how to bring his name into existence today. The Bible said that is in God's foreknowledge. In his foresight, the Bible said, then he did foreknew. Say he did what? Predestinate. And God predestinated a name above every other name. Amen. Whether it be in the English, whether it be in Spanish, whether it be in Greek, whether it be in Hebrew, the name is above every other name. Amen. And at the name of Jesus Christ. So whether you want to say Jesus Christ or Yeshua, Yamashima, it means the same thing. Amen. One is in English and one is in Hebrew. Amen. If I go in, 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 in a Spanish-speaking country, I say Jesus, it means the same thing. Amen. Jesus, I'm speaking their language. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. And so they are attacking the uneducated youths of our nation. And, and if you see, the, if they come at an attitude. Amen. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm speaking the truth here. Amen, Amen. somebody. And it comes with an attitude. Amen, somebody. Amen. They're not just teaching them scriptures. They, they come with a certain type of attitude of intimidation and, and, and violence yes. and racism Amen. and separation. Amen. We are all one in Christ. Amen. We are all one. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So, as for thee also by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth, I have what? Sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit. Where there is no water. So the blood of Jesus Christ, by the covenant of the New Testament, he has set us free from being prisoners. Amen. We, are, we were prisoners of the devil. Amen. Prisoners of sin. Amen. Slaves to sin. Born in sin, saved in iniquity. Amen. And by the blood of Jesus Christ, 
We have been set free. We are no longer prisoners to sickness, disease, fear, doubt, oppression, depression, poverty. Amen, somebody. Slavery, whether it be spiritual slavery or physical slavery, there is but one master over us, which is God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Now name your chapter and verse in Leviticus again. Leviticus what? 17, 14. Let's get what the scripture really is saying and somebody. Leviticus 17 verses 14. Amen somebody. 17 verses 14 says for it, for it is the life of all flesh. It is what? The, life the blood of it for the life thereof. So the life of all flesh is in the blood. Amen. 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 So we are dealing with the law of the blood. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And we are establishing a firm foundation of all Amen. PowerPoints of what the blood of Jesus has done for us and what is it doing for us. All of us here as good go up understanding that Jesus forgives sins and he takes away sins. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. But we need to go a little deeper before someone who have never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. They will ask her, why, why, why blood? Why the blood of the Son of God? The scripture explains that as well. There is no remission of sin. Very true. Amen, somebody. And we as uh, believers, we understand with all the shedding of blood, the Bible said there is no forgiveness of sins. Amen. But somebody who is an atheist who do not believe in God, they will ask you why did the blood of Jesus have to be shed for the forgiveness of sins? Yes. Take away sin from the world. Yes. Because Jesus is going to be second Adam. Yes. Well, in the beginning of the Bible, it says, you know, the first Adam, you know, rebelled against God, disobeyed God, and sin, you know, became alive and mankind died. Yes. You know, so in order for we to take away sin from the world now, we have to get someone without sin. Yes. That's what the Bible says in the beginning, before the foundation, the only lamb has been slain. Yes. You know, so, you know, that time, Simon, then, then when the Old Testament, they go back with the bulls and when the, when the priests used to go before the temple once a year, you know, to re, on behalf of his sins and the sins of the people, and you know, it was a shadow of types of things which has come, the man Christ, you know, and that is it more or less. So let's try yes. to explain. Yes, very true, brother. All right? Yeah. So, where now does the Bible say and show us Amen, somebody. Amen. That the blood of Jesus Christ did have no sin. Because an atheist will tell you, well, Jesus' father was Joseph. Amen. And amen, somebody. So they want you to, because the Bible is a record of things to come, a record of things now, and a record of things before. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. We are read it. Where can I find where it says that? Jesus' bloodline did not come from Joseph. Yes, that's a story. Yes. She will conceive a child. Yes. Yes. It was not a natural birth. It was a divine birth. Yeah. But where, where in the scripture? Come on, somebody. Where in the scripture does it really? It, 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 it breaks it down. It didn't just, it didn't just say, well, like, uh, God sent an angel, and an angel, amen, gave a spoke to Mary, amen, somebody, amen. and said, Mary, blessed are the amongst women, amen, somebody, amen. and you shall conceive a child, amen, somebody. Amen. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. Isaiah. Yes. 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 Yes.
Well, that, that is establishing his name and, and speaking about his birth, the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. But where does it break down? Come on, we, we went to the scripture more than Amen. once. John. Amen. John. Come on, come on. Amen. It actually speaks. Amen. And breaks it down of the origin of his birth. Amen, somebody. Anybody, I'll give you 60 seconds. Go to your notes. Go to your notes. That's one minute. You should just see that verse and you know it is that verse. It's good in describing the birth of Christ. But we want to get into breaking down of the doctrine. I think you come on, you're getting closer. <laughs> just... Alright, so we're going to the book of St. John chapter 1. Yeah. And verses 1. It's a team. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. I'm just going to read through what we are coming to one verse that breaks down everything. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. But this is describing both Jesus Christ being as God, Son of God, and Son of Man. Amen, somebody. Amen. It's telling, you know, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Say, so in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, when you pick up a Bible, you do not, if you pick up a Bible and it states to you, are you opening in the book of St. John, chapter 1, and, and you, and when you begin to read, you see, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was a God. A God means there are many other gods. There is but one God, one creator. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, when you open a Bible, you want to find in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was. God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made Amen. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was not made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness. So John came to be a witness. And they came and they asked John who he was. Are you Elijah? Come back. Are you the Messiah, who are you, John? And John told them, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare him the way of the Lord. Make straight, amen, somebody. A way for our Lord, amen, somebody. So John was that witness, amen, of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted everything every man that cometh into the world. So he came there to be a witness of the true light that brought every man that came into this world. He was in the world and the world was made by him. Who was in the world? Jesus Christ was in the world and the world was made by him. Amen somebody. Amen somebody. Amen. And the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not but as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name which were born not of blood Amen. so there is the word on here now so he's going to give you a clear description amen we went into this about two Fridays ago that Jesus he was not born of the blood of any man. Amen. It is the, the seed of man Amen. That, brings blood. that carries the sin. sin. Amen. Without the seed of man, Amen. no child can be born. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So the seed, Amen, somebody, Amen. of the man Christ Jesus Amen. originated from on high. Amen. Mary was used as an incubator for the body to be formed. Amen. 
but the blood that flowed through the body did not come from any man. It came from above. And that's why we read in the book of Hebrews that a body have I prepared. You're just going to put up that for me, amen. You should have that in your notes already. A body, you have it in your notes, sir? All right. A, a body have I prepared. You're going to pull that for me. God prepared his own body Amen. to come in flesh and blood. Amen. And the blood that flows through his veins was holy blood. It was not tainted with the sin of any man. Amen. Amen. So we see in verses 13, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Amen. So the seed, the blood of any man did not enter into Mary. That's why the Bible said the virgin shall bring forth a child. Amen. So scientifically that TV is wrong. It is, it is foolishness unto them. Amen. To any man that hear the gospel, it is foolishness unto them. But the Bible said the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. And that it pleased God to the foolishness of preaching to save them that will believe. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 You found the verse for me? Hebrews chapter 10. Verse Hebrews chapter 10 five. and verses? Five. But the person is going to get it and read Hebrews chapter 10 and verses 5. Amen, somebody. Amen. My temple and Lopez is looking for that. I'm just going to read that scripture again. Which were not born, nor blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld his glory. The only glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen, somebody. The first. Amen. The first of many to come. Amen. Jesus Christ is the first fruit Amen. of the Father. Amen. Of many others to come. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. So we will see in verses 12, but as many as will receive Jesus Christ, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Amen. To do the works that he did. Amen. To live the way that he lived. Amen. Jesus said, greater works shall you and I do because I go on to the Father. And he said, because I have overcome, you shall overcome also. And he said, the world hated me, therefore it will hate you. Amen, somebody. So we as the church, we got to stop trying to fit in with the world and stop trying to be world pleasers and begin to be God pleasers. Amen. Because we got to be like Jesus, not like the world. Amen. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And that's the problem with the church. It has lost its fire. It has lost its anointing. It has lost its glory. It has lost its fear for God because it is adopting the things of the world rather than being adopted by God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Your question, Brother Lopez? Go ahead, read it for me. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body thou hast prepared me. So, amen. So he said, when he came into the world, sacrifices and offering God did not want, but a body he did prepare. Amen. God prepared his body. Amen. 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 That the blood that will be shed will be holy blood. Amen. Will be blood without spot and without wrinkle. Will be divine blood. Amen. It did not originate. So the blood that flowed to the man Christ Amen. Jesus did not come Amen. from the generation of Adam. Amen. That's why the Bible said, as the brother was saying, the book of Romans, get that for chapter and verse of me. Amen. And the first Adam, amen, somebody, was made a living soul. But the second Adam 
was a quickening spirit. And the reason why the second Adam was a quickening spirit is because he was God in the flesh. Amen. To quicken means to give life. To bring back something from the dead. That's why when he went to Lazarus tomb, amen, after he was four days rotting, amen, somebody, and he told his disciples, he said, I go to my good friend Lazarus, for he's sleeping, I go to wake him. He said, Master, but if he is asleep, then he, he is doing well for himself. But they didn't understand what he meant. And when he went to Lazarus home, he met all of them mourning, he met Mary, he met Martha, amen, and they said, Master, if thou art will only hear your good Good friend Lazarus would not have died, and he told them, Believe thou this, I am the same I am that spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Amen. 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 Chapter, book and verse. First Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. Verses 45. Verses 45. Well, let's get that from here. And right, and then pull up for me. By one man sin entered into the world and reigned unto death. And by one man, Jesus Christ. By the spiritual righteousness reign unto life eternal. Amen. So we are dealing with the law of the blood, and all these are power points of the law of the blood. So that number one, we, we dwell that the life is in the blood. We, we dwell that the blood of Jesus forgives sins. The blood of Jesus takes away sins. When we mean it takes it away, it takes away the power of sin, the desire for it. And the things that you used to do, you do them no more because you don't have a desire for it. You don't have a desire for partying. You don't have a desire for the flesh. You don't have a desire for lying. You don't have a desire to be in a certain environment amongst certain people. They can sense certain spirits. You see certain people grow. Amen. Talking online. They sense a spirit. Just the spirit of God telling you that company is ungodly company. That counselor is ungodly counselor. Separate yourself. Come out from amongst them. Be separated unto me. Touch not the unclean thing. Come on, somebody. It's not that they're trying to, to be more holier than thou, but yeah, the spirit of God in you becomes grief and vex that they can't take that environment. They can't take that lifestyle. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. You know, it, it have people that, that want to, to, to play the whole hand up. Uh, amen, but it have people when the holiness of God and they take them. They can't be among certain things. They can't see certain things. They can't 